Ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time with me painting today, I just want this to be the most peaceful setting that I can possibly allow you. Now, I would like to extend my welcome to you all, and uh, we're going to start off like we do every week, every time we paint, and we're going to put on a bit of uh, liquid white. to cover the whole painting in white first. So that's kind of like your base. So we're going to be drawing the end of the world today. And it's something that I think about quite a lot. How will our planet come to an end? I'm going to need a bit of green and we're going to just put that on the painting. And this is going to be our planet Earth. I just love planet Earth, don't you? You know, we're given a short amount of time on this crazy old rock and it's very frustrating when people don't appreciate what they got. Taking everything for granted like brainless worms. It really makes me get all sad inside. I like to wash this brush, it's a lot of fun. There we go, shake off the excess. <laughs> So here we've got the base. Uh, this is lizard green. And you know how, how the world is run by lizards, don't you? The lizard people control the stock market and everything you consume, see, and hear. Your life is an illusion and you're merely plugged into the internet. But we don't know it because we all have become zombified by Facebook and Twitter and all that sinful garbage. Now we're gonna need some blue for the oceans. Here we go, just a, just a da dab a bit down there. Sometimes you really gotta squeeze the death out of these things. Oh, fiddlesticks. We just gone burst our paint. But anyway, it's all good. Nothing to worry about. It's not going to be uh, bad like when uh, it'll be a thousand degrees outside. So uh, we're just uh, sitting dandy here right now. Just painting away, painting our problems away. Like good little citizens. So this is our, this here is our planet. And we're going to get uh, Mr. Blue here. Put a little ocean for all those big tsunamis that got to come my way. This paint is very old and uh, we're just going to try and get some paint to flow on there. But it's, but it's, it's been a bit of a silly sausage. Just like the government. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's, there's no rush. No pressure at all. Just going to be the painting and that's the way it is. And is there any, uh, we're missing a bit of a sky, a bit of atmosphere. That will probably be the first thing to go when the earth finally meets its end one day. I always find that putting a bit of oil and vinegar on the paint, on the canvas is, uh, it always helps out things, makes things a lot easier to glide across the paint, uh, the canvas. So another way they, uh, they think the Earth is going to end is a big asteroid coming down, blowing a huge chunk out of the Earth. Much like how the dinosaurs died. And that will create a big explosion, much like the same scenario if a Yellowstone or some other volcano were to erupt. Now you're just going to want to do some fine strokes up here. Nice little touches. I really suggest that you use odorless thinner or you'll become very unpopular around the home front. There's a screen down here in the bottom of the bucket that I scrubbed the brush against and we'll shake it off <laughs> and just beat the devil. That really is the fun part of this whole technique. So relaxing to the, just feeling your whole body, letting your, your whole body direct where you go, where the paintbrush goes. 
vast black emptiness of space. And the asteroid would probably be yellow with, with a bit of a tail. That's how the dinosaurs were wiped out. But we're not here to talk about dinosaurs. Now another thing that I, that I was just sitting by the mountainside near my home by the lake. Staring out at the fish and everything and started to wonder how we evolved from the fish. All well, the fish are in there somewhere. But we're in the sun. Another scenario in, in about a million years or so. The sun will expand to a size that will completely obliterate all oceans on the planet Earth. That's only if we are still here and we haven't blown ourselves up due to nuclear war or some shit. That's another kettle of fish. But talking about fish and when they crawled on the land, you know, they, they're basically our fathers from the past. And we have to cherish them. Because once this planet goes, we are fucked. Don't you often think about this stuff? I mean, I, I don't want to worry too many people about it. So, um, what I think we have to do as a species is create little ships that somehow have to run on dark energy and uh, then let's let's put a bit of water here on this bit of space time continuum here we'll have to travel by using stem cell and the like we're gonna have to put them on uh, big spaceships and they're gonna have to travel for generations and generations because it will take about 70,000 years at our current rate or traveling at the speed of light. I'm not sure. No, that would be four years. I read that somewhere, but it takes 70,000 years to get to the nearest star. And that is going to be a problem if we can't handle being alive for 80 years as a race. And you know, um, as a generation or whatever, how the fuck are we going to last? 70,000 years on a spaceship, space journey traveling to a location that may be hostile. The spaceship could explode, or they could be a terrorist on board, or um, it could crash into a tiny bit of space dust. So you gotta, you gotta worry about that. And then you're gonna want to beat the devil out of your brush occasionally. And then... That has saved a marriage and a half. You're just gonna have to beat the shit out of that thing. So, if all else fails and we get to another destination and populate that, then we have to worry about in a billion years or so, or roughly around that time frame, the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy will collide with one another. And that will cause our galaxies to combine together. And a lot of planets will just spin out of control. And the ones on the left in the safety zone, I, I guess uh, they'll be okay. But I, I guess uh, those two galaxies will just merge into one. Merge into one like one big happy family. So, uh, I thought I'd just make some additions to the painting uh, through other means. Just like um, these are what if we are attacked by aliens one day. So spaceships would come around our planet. I think they would observe us for a while and then uh, then they'd see that we are not very nice people on the, on the main, the whole I guess you could say. So, um, I'd say they'd, they'd observe our television and such, and then they would send, they would think, we traveled all this way for nothing. So, we're just going to blow the fuck out of this place. Because it's not worth being here at all. And, uh, boom, explosions. Uh, that's it. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, what am I doing here? Who am I? What is this? Who are you?
Sometimes I just don't get life. I really don't. Uh. I often dream about where I'm going as a person. And uh, I think I'm okay, but there's a lot of other people out there, really bad people, who just make the planet uh, and life not worth living. Um, so my, my dream, um, if there ever was one, would be for everyone to just love each other and to um, respect each other and just, uh, I guess, keep their space from everyone around because personally I find I get annoyed when people say the wrong things, you know, and you just want to smash their heads in. But, uh, you just have to uh, grit it up and uh, keep on going with your day, like nothing ever happened. But those things, words do hurt. So, just, uh, if you want to be a good person, just, uh, you know, try and be nice to your fellow human being, and let's not make this a reality. Let's try and work together as a universe, as a world, at trying to expand our consciousness and uh, the, the greater uh, capacity to travel to other worlds, finding out wormholes, um, that could be our saving grace in the end. I think um, Kip Thorne said it best when he said that uh, we must go where no other man has gone before. And through the wormhole is the right direction we need to go, okay? So, um, that's all I basically wanted to say. I, uh, I've been bottling this up for quite a long time, for quite many years now. And, uh, I think my paintings have been holding up all this pent-up anger all the years, because uh, people can't just remain as happy as uh, I have been for this long. Um, so I think a bit of uh, modern art is in question here. Uh, I think this is a good depiction of where we're going as a human race, and um, if we don't get our act together, uh, we all need to work as one. and. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's been nice knowing you, because um, if things don't improve, if we get caught up looking at our feet, looking at our fucking phones all day, uh, not looking other people in the eye when we walk around, um, diverting our gaze because that could be seen as, uh, I want to kill you or whatever, um, yeah. So, I guess we need, to, we need to wake up, be compassionate to one another, and um, I guess um, that's all I have to say. It's been a beautiful afternoon spending uh, my time with you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think I've uh, said enough. <laughs> oh.